hi guys welcome and or welcome back to my channel my name is cassandra today's video will be a continuation from my part one five day clean with me today is part two jam-packed with tons of cleaning motivation you can clean with me now or watch now to get the motivation you need to clean later either way let's jump into today's video Starting off in my living room, it wasn't too bad. My living room tends to just be like a pickup from getting all the kids' toys off the floor, wiping the table down because that's where they do most of like the, that's the, where they're supposed to do all their eating and they do crafts and stuff like that on that table. So I need to wipe it, vacuum that area just to like get it back clean because it's was i'm not sure what day just was but yeah just to get everything back in order is just to clean up after them put everything back in their rightful places vacuum make the bed because they take this bed as like a trampoline jumping playing on this bed so it's just like getting all that stuff in order and just making sure everything is organized as possible because you don't want in the morning you're running around looking for things because you didn't put them back in the rightful place. So that's what I am doing. But if you have not seen part one of this video, I am definitely going to leave it link on the end screen. Or I am going and I am going to leave it down in the description box because that was some well needed cleaning motivation. Like I'm telling you, like that video was the stuff. It is some well, well, well needed cleaning motivation. So if you're watching this video and you're enjoying this video, trust me, you want to check out that video because you think this is going to get you motivated? Girl, that's going to get you real motivated. So, but don't leave this video to go watch that. Watch this one first and then you go to that one. Okay? Want to be in, not out. Want to make this all count. Uh, yes, I now guys if you have a toddler let me know is this normal why is the back of my chair looking like this and it, it, it's not like a week build up this is like probably two days because i have to clean this the chairs like this and then you can't use your hand because my hands are too big so i have to give you a spoon to clean this mess out like i be wondering like why where do kids come up with this stuff to put a mess in this area like what made them think this is okay to do is it only me okay guys so I had some technical difficulties i have the canon mark x gx7 mark 2 just got it and i did not know I would have to do a lot of this stuff like I really don't understand but I'm trying like I said guys I'm updating my quality because I want it to be better so work with me here so we're back to cleaning now let's see I hope the quality so hopefully we have no more problems because this is driving me crazy. Like, none of my batteries are charged. It's just been a rough day. So, I'm going to try to hurry up and get finished the living room. I might have to put the bedroom on pause until later. 
and um maybe take the kids to the park let them burn off some energy and then come back and finish up so let's just continue i want to get the living room done i have to get the living room done before i leave i could even stay up late and do the bedroom but i have to do the living room today so let's just finish this up
just don't know I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Okay guys, so I get copyright. Okay guys, so it's about two to three hours later. Like this is real life how things happen. Like things happen, you gotta stop in the middle. Like I had to stop, get the kids dinner together. I took them to the park first, came back, got them dinner, now they're in a the shower. So I need to get to cleaning up my room. But <coughs> but I want to show you guys real this is just how things happen. Like when you're a mom things happen and then I have to in the meantime get myself together to go back to work tomorrow process mentally prepare myself to go back to work because in all honesty um just not really in the mood I really don't know I was pushing to go back because now I don't really care to so I'm going to change about my shirt take this shirt off it's still the same day I just Change my shirt because the other one smelled like cleaning products so I didn't want to wear that to the park and so I'm just going to change my shirt back and keep my pants on the same pants I wore to the park it's kind of chilly outside so we had to change my tights so let's jump into it guys As for my bedroom, it's not really like dirty. It's just every, nothing's put in the rightful place. So what I'm gonna do is put everything in their place, and I'm gonna start out by making my bed because that always just like makes it a whole lot better. And with my bed, it is the majority of my room, I would say because it's so small so once the bed is like disorganized it just looks a mess right now I'm trying to fix the curtain um, I'll put it back up because I take it off at times just to get some natural sunlight in because they're blackout curtains so after making my bed then we're just gonna jump into getting these clothes organized they're not dirty everything is all clean it's just like the laundry and if you know me and if you are a returning subscriber you know it could take me five to seven business days to pack out my laundry I don't know why I just that's the worst part of laundry for me one thing I hate it is just tedious to me do laundry well not really do laundry so fold laundry i would say let me know down in the comments what's the one chore you just don't like to do or the one thing you dread doing i know a lot of people probably be like it's cleaning 
But for me, cleaning is therapeutic. I don't mind just blocking everything out and cleaning. It is laundry for me. It's just laundry, like, and it's not the whole entire laundry. It's folding the clothes and putting them up. Like, I gotta wash them, fold them, put them up. Dang, it's a lot. Like, I just don't like doing folding the laundry or ironing. If you know me, you know I hate to iron. Like, that is just not something I choose to do. I rather wear it wrinkle than iron. I right, listen. I ain't. Ain't no shame, I've been doing this for forever. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us away to the dawn. Oh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. I got you wrapped around my finger. But don't you try to call me tomorrow. Watch me pray. all that messy it's just to put things back because I have a habit of if I use something I don't put it right back where it's supposed to go I know it doesn't make sense but that's just what it is and then um like getting all my camera stuff together putting it in my little camera bag up here was mostly my son using it at this time because Obviously, I wasn't back to work yet, so my son was mostly using this section for his schoolwork so I could monitor and what, what, what he was doing while I was working on like my other stuff. So that's why it's a little bit more like disorganized because I had to move my stuff around just to make space so he's not touching what he's not supposed to be touching and all that. And then at the time, I had all the medications up here just all over just so I can remember where to take what I need to take so it's just like getting everything back where it needs to be and put in the correct place so it's not really so messy I just realized I say so a lot whoa I'm gonna need to work on that because I just said that a lot Watch me pray.
I still have been off from work for those two and a half months. All my work stuff was stuck so far underneath my bed. It was crazy. So I had to find my work bag. That is the base work tote, the mini. Um, I also have the larger size, which I only use for like traveling now. But when I was solely working from home, I did use the the larger one for the one day that I did go in the office because it fits a lot more and I absolutely love my base work topes. I said I want to get a summer one but I don't know see we're still not in the office back full time so I don't know if I want to splurge and spin on that let me know what you think down below should I get the taupe, taupe color the taupe color one the brownish one let me know what you think for summertime. But here I'm just going through my work bag, tossing out anything that I will not need, and like organizing everything. You're going to see I put like a organizer inside so I could keep track of things and just have things in their place because on the inside there are pockets. I'm going to also leave down below um, the review I did on this bag if you're interested in a work bag. It is very spacious. It I love the fact that it's very structured and it keeps its structure. Base needs to sponsor me. I swear, like, they really do need to sponsor me. But anyways, side note from that. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave that down below if you're interested to see how this bag is. It is amazing, it, especially if you're a commuter. I fit my um, flats on top of my bag whenever, like, I choose to wear different kind of shoes. So... You know, it does do wonders. But um, back to the task at hand. So I'm just cleaning it out, wiping it out, getting all the little junk and everything out. So I'm just going to go back and put back what I actually need for work. Because this is me returning to work, I kind of had to bring a lot of stuff in that I had brought out from the two months that I was out. Because I was working for about two weeks of that time so all that paperwork and all that stuff that I had at home I need to bring back in the office with me just so I can switch out put them where they needs to be file what I need to file you know the drip so I really needed this bag to be organized so I know where everything was when I got to work so yeah this is just me cleaning that area up and then tossing what I need to toss I did order some work stuff that day. That's how you see that boohoo bag. I took everything out, folded it. So, I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys want like a tall girl try on haul? I know, like, my channel is all confusing. All confusing. But I love it that way. Like, I don't want to stick to one thing. I'm not just a mom or I'm not just a cleaner. I'm not just a maid. I do have a lot of other things going on in my life. So, I want to share all of that with you guys. So... Let me know if you want to see a tall girl try on haul with like bottoms because tops, I wear regular tops mostly, but pants, I do have to do tall. And that's my little baby, my now six year old baby. I don't know, like it is so true what they say about moms and their little boys. It's so true. He is like always stuck to me. But while I'm here rambling on this video is coming to an end and if you've made it this far i do want to say thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel make sure to leave a comment and let's chat down below and make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification and i'll catch you in the next one